Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Diviner Fool. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofu. Mastelleron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. That shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter. And only another Eon Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship. And yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? Hm. That piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Fu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. The traitors have planted it in the Ambrosial Arbor's delve, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The Disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Am I coming up with a plan again? Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, Convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Stellaron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mmm, as ever the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control and the traitors have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? Oh, that massive tree has suddenly sprung to life! It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the General. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? You... Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such... 
I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure, Lady Fu. I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission, and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Understood. Understood, worry not. I know how to repay a favor. A Sienjo has met with a dramatic chain of events, and each of you has chosen to stand by us. Your fearlessness moves me. Nevertheless, the enemy is upon us and time is of the essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters. Once catastrophe has been averted, we shall discuss this in greater detail. Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. The Alchemy Commission and Scale Gorge Waterscape delves are adjacent to the Ambrosial Arbor Seal. I'd like you to investigate these places. I have asked Fu Shen to open a shortcut to the Divination Commission for you. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Sienjo is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other delves. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron's fears may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. I still have important tasks from the General to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you... divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward.
time well spent. Huh? Look at all the people gathered here. Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Star's gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. I think they call that complaining from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. Locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sienjo as the Divination Commission. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet, thousands of light years away. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Gongshu. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the General invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. 
He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Is research data more important than life? I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. <sighs> In that case, uh, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? The Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. Sharp Scythe needs targets. Upon commission grounds, your feet do tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead! Stay away! If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Uh, uh, hold Don't on! Let us explain! We're not... What excuses do you have? Surprise me! Just passing by. Stumbled in. Door wide open. Within commission grounds today was so. An evil spun by hands unseen, unknown. No longer. If the security mechanism will let these robots win. Golden Cloud Toad, Illumination Dragonfish. <laughs> All right, wake up. Did you really have a compensation? Uh, you didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you, and you started a fight for no reason. Uh. How do you know my child? Does the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? <sighs> this guy's pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gong Shu. R really? The General sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The Artisanship Commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession. The Creation Furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots was like they gained consciousness. They were moving in a circle around it, 
I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away, knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. <laughs> I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment, aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on, <laughs> through here. Look, this is one of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes. The shifting screen. Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The shifting screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed. With limited range and energy cost aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither, but through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled, the shifting screen entangled vents, and coiled. J uh, uh, hold on, my young friends. Don't underestimate the Artisanship Commission. The General is too far off to help us now, but I can. The Commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong, your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? Yeah. <laughs> Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the Tree Demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! Very good. The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. You're much better than my useless students. 
What's happening? Is the Dell collapsing? Seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain. <laughs> All right, there's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Ambrosial Arbor's roots. Oh, they've uncoiled the Artisanship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace. Help me, dear young friends. Let's pack them away together. We can't let the roots punch through the furnace. Careful, it's changing. <gasps> Oh, what kind of monster? 
monster is this? Miraculous! It creates life at will! Such incredible power! Ugh, great. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Roots and the furnace. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Lance of news. Don't mess with who's next. What a head look. Leave it to me. Find a shot. No time. <laughs> just in just the little something. Thank you. Lance ablaze! Lance forward! to retreat for now. Follow me. <sighs> no wonder the Siencho is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Ting Yun, are the longwave species on the Siencho all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Sienjo don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. I wonder. The Ebon Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. Uh, yeah! It can't heal if we take out the source, right? The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. So the general asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission, hmm? Uh, the Artisan Ship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the Tree Demon appeared. Young friends, I have a suggestion. Any thoughts, Master Gongshu? Hmm. When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. 
My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire. Well, you're right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground! My theory was correct! Keep going! Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Scythe needs targets.
time well spent. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Stand down. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. A sharp scythe needs target. Scythe needs target. Uh, quick! There's more roots over here! Give me a moment! I'll set up the device! done I suspect the ambrosial arbor's root system must have spread far underground the only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the artisanship commission let's hurry before they have a chance to grow back so the next uh, let's go Of the past. Time well spent.
well spent. Look, the roots coiled around the creation furnace. They've withered. Excellent. Nothing can stop you now. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. I'll end your misery. Time for a shot now. Don't mess with me. Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! What a headache. What? Ah! I'll free you from- Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Good. Naughty. <laughs> Just a little something. Thank you. Nice teamwork. What? Leave it stand down. Huh? Peaches? I am kind of hungry. Mark. Uh, uh, I'm just saying. It would be a shame if they get smashed in. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Don't mess with me. Let's begin. Time for a shot. You know nothing of the survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Don't mess with me. 
Leave it to me. I'll free you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Let's begin. Time for a shot. What a headache. Lance of the ready. I'm fine. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Afraid of me. I'll free you from your chain. On the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Nothing up. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Sienjo decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If Immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe. Entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, 
were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the plague author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried while the fools remain immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends. And stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. So this is the Lafu's Ambrosial Arbor. It's my first time seeing it. Aren't you a Cloud Knight? Cloud Knights don't visit the Ambrosial Arbor without a reason. Plus, I'm new here. The Lafu's plague mark is a tree, while the Yao Ching's is a moon. <laughs> I think we got the better one. I heard that the Ambrosial Arbor shriveled and died a long time ago. How could it suddenly spring back to life and start growing again? The influence of the Stellaron. There's no time for explanations. We must return to the Ten Lords Commission. I'm wounded. I need your assistance in getting there. Once we get to Starskip Jetty, you can go your separate ways. Well, there's nothing else for it. We're duty bound to help the Ten Lords Commission. You look familiar. Hmm. Maybe. I ran your facial profile against the records in the Shackling prison just now. Indeed. There were no matches to be found. <laughs> I did not expect such a short journey to be filled with so many twists and turns. How does it feel, Master Don Hung, to be a subject of the Ten Lords Commission? A good answer. Short and to the point. It would seem I've been unsuccessful in detangling myself of matters thus far. I suggest we hasten to Starskiff Jetty and send this judge of the Ten Lords Commission on her way. 
We must continue our own journeys as soon as possible. Ah, sorry. All Cloud Knights answer to the Ten Lords Commission. Uh, duty calls. Apologies for asking you to stick with me a bit longer. I'll treat you guys when I get you back to safety. Um, I guess you could slip away and find a safe spot to hide. I'll come back and get you once I've sent her on her way. Come on, uh, together is better. Wait for us! You're the first Ten Lords Commission judge I've met. What do you guys do, exactly? Our work concerns the Mara Strap. I don't think this is the way. Be careful, everyone. Mess with me. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> still a civilian out here. I fear not death, for the fate of the Artisanship Commission now rests entirely on my shoulders. <laughs> not a chance. Aside, escape while you still can. There's no hope of the Cloud Knights arriving now. As darkness falleth, think not what is just. To this old man and trust your hopes. You must! Don't try to be a hero! Uh, a sigh! S since when were you able to speak? Hey, do I sound like a dog to you? No! <laughs> My apologies, miss. No wonder I was confused. I never installed a human speech module in the little guy. <laughs> no. Uh, but what is the meaning of this? I'm the only one left here. The apprentices all fled. You should probably do the same. You just said there's no hope of the Cloud Knights arriving. I happen to be a Cloud Knight. Wouldn't you call this a timely arrival? Come with us for now. I'll take care of things here later. That won't do as a senior artisan. I can't just abandon my post. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to resort to unconventional methods. 
Are you gonna come with us willingly? Or do I have to ask the guy behind me to carry you in his white death box? I... I... Can you give me a moment to consider those options? Now! Move it! Sharp Scythe needs targets. Miss Cloud Knight, why did the General send you out here? of the past. <clears throat> A sharp scythe needs targets. Hmm. Interesting practice. Do people on the Sienjo have no problem leaving blueprints out in the open? It makes things easier for the craftsmen. It's not like outsiders can just walk in here. Are we not outsiders here, Miss? A few more steps and we're at the main gate. Thank you for escorting me. We must go our separate ways. It's just a few steps away. You're not leaving with us? Everyone has their duties and obligations. From the day I joined the Artisanship Commission, I've been taking care of the ins and outs of its operations without a day's rest. And today is no exception. The apprentices fled as they should have, but I cannot let them see their master flee from peril. This is as far as I go with you. I must see what more I can do for the Artisanship Commission. <sighs> master Gong Shu. No use in trying to talk me out of it, young miss. This old man cherishes his life. He won't do anything rash. On your way now. Everyone has their duties. Let's go. Doesn't look like it wants to let us through. Do you think if I yell at it, it could scare it off? <laughs> I doubt that. I think Atsai is the only one here still taking orders from people. Any idea? Hmm. I've got one. 
bring it down. You know, you're getting less silent and more deadly by the minute. Sounds good. Let's get it. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. So, are judges all loners? You don't seem to have any backup. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission have always acted independently, each carrying out their duty in solitude. However... However... I have a younger sister. You remind me of her. There's the star skip. The rebirth of the Ambrosial Arbor was bound to bring calamity. The Cloud Knights must be at the Alchemy Commission. Next to the arbor. You should head the same way. Thank you for ensuring my safety on this journey. I will report this good deed to the Ten Lords. And if the opportunity arises, I will return the favor. We're glad we could help. She mentioned the Cloud Knights were at the Alchemy Commission. I should find a ship and regroup with my unit. What about you? Aw, you just can't bear to see me go, huh? Come on then, let's go together. We are most grateful, Miss Sushan.
Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. I came up from Scarscape. Ah, you're back. From... I wouldn't be envious. This is not an innate ability. Merely compensation for my visual impairment. Ultimately, nothing I hear or smell can match the vividness of the colors that you perceive. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. The conclusion... Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. I've compiled the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. If the Chief Counselor wants to see it urgently, I'll have to ask you to deliver it for me. I came up from Starskip Haven just to see the Ambrosial Arbor. Hey, uh, there's something I need to tell you. You're back. Anything you wanted to share? Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Don Shu. W wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission Dell. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Please accept these gifts for your efforts. Please, take them. You've done so much for the Lafu, for the Sienjo. This is the least I could do. Thank you for coming on such short notice. My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the Seat of Divine Foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question, but there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Thank you. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. It shouldn't be hard to find her. Cultured people love this. You'd be a tool to miss a island of cool. Is 
Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? She's stuck! <laughs> she can't get down! Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business! What's this got to do with you? You were family or something? Because you don't look like it. Hmm. You're just trying to be a hero. You sure you want to mess with the law food trio? <laughs> what a doofus! Who hasn't heard of the law food trio? The law food trio is made up of two, uh, th three super awesome kids that everyone's afraid of. Even the Realm Keeping Commission! Eh, go ahead. You think we're scared of you? They'll just put us in detention. We'll be free again in no time. Uh, let's leave it, boss. Detention's detention, but if your dad finds out, you'll get yelled at and start crying again. Hey! Why'd you bring that up? <laughs> You're right. We shouldn't stoop to this short lifer's level. Did you hear that? The boss is letting you off the hook. So scram! Yeah, the boss doesn't want to stoop to your level. Now buzz off before he yells at you and makes you cry. You idiot! Enough about yelling and crying! Helping me, Mets. I'm okay. It's my fault. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. Then I wouldn't have run into those guys. And they always laugh at me for being blind. And they like to trip me up and steal my things. <laughs> Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. Oh, Don Shu asked you to come? Things are bad on the Lafu recently. Don Shu must be very busy. Thank you, miss. Remember to thank her for me. Why does she wander about alone? <sighs> well, I've delivered the medicine. I should report back to Don Shu. Did you deliver the medicine? <sighs> she reminds me of myself when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark, face obstacles I couldn't predict, as well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against me. If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission, and ask them to heal me. I suppose that's why I followed in their footsteps, to pay a little kindness forward. Thank you for looking after the child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? I want to meet the little girl. Can you lead me to her? I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health. 
But sometimes, the loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship and care to heal. She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. Her parents used to be artisans in the Commission, so I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. In all likelihood, that's where she'll be. <sighs> There's danger around every corner these days, especially for a sightless child. Let's go. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's humongous. It's okay now, shall you? <laughs> Thank you, big sister. Thank you, Tanshu. You don't need to be scared anymore. She is here. But I only think about all the trouble I've caused you to. I feel like such a burden. I'm sorry. Is that why you're crying? Maybe you should start getting used to this feeling. Because in the next few centuries, visually impaired people like us will continue to require help from everyone we meet. So if a little bit of guilt like this is enough to break your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? I'm not trying to console her. This is the reality. Walking alone in the darkness, fearing every incoming, invisible obstacle, unable to understand other people's descriptions. Everyone, everything is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long-life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. One hopes that would be the case. But that would require someone to be by her side every waking second of every day. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Hey, you're right, Sancho. <laughs> From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Thank you again. For all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are 
often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become Chief Alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. For long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, how our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non-believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate. And I was left in pain and despair. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish forever etched into my mind. For long life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenance. <laughs> what a joke. Even the denizens of abundance, so-called abominations, needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. Nothing. Forget I said anything. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations in Exalting Sanctum have been met. For now. Oh. I have a gift for you. Though I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. See you soon, friend. Don Shu needs more time to prepare my gift. There's nothing pressing right now. Why not head over to Spare Time Bookshop for a while? Mr. C.E.N. said that making bookworms feel at home is more important than getting them to buy something. All we ask is that you find a quiet spot away from the browsing areas. There you are, friend. You've been running so many errands lately. I'd like for you to take some useful items away with you. Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Palette. And I'd like you to have it. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. 
as a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Well then, that's that. I've still got some other business to attend to, so... Shall we say goodbye for now? Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll be able to see you, in the true sense of the word. Hmm... Tastes... Wait a minute... Ugh, oh, my head... What's happening? <laughs> Something's wrong. I'm burning up. Feels like I can't breathe. Ugh. Seems to be calming down a little. Ugh, but still uncomfortable. This doesn't seem right. I'd better talk to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. my head again. Is Don Shu sure this broom dew is safe for consumption? <laughs> What's happening? Isn't this the seat of divine foresight? Why are there so many Mara struck here? No, I can't let them get near me. <laughs> Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Who's next? Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. awake I thought we might lose you I was so worried you came into the seat of divine foresight and started brandishing your weapon it looked like you'd lost control as if you'd been stricken with Mara there has to be something awry tell me what happened to you before arriving at the seat of divine foresight from what you're saying it seems like the gift she gave to you must be related to the Disciple's prescription we examined earlier. But the healer who examined you just now said your body doesn't seem to have been affected. <sighs> How strange. Could Don Shu be playing a trick on you? Or is her medicine somehow not working as planned? <sighs> My advice is to come back later for another examination. It's a Disciple's of Sanctus Medicus prescription after all. Who knows what healing effects it may have. I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. Take this deeting with you. It might just help you find this friend. Time well spent. Don Shu isn't here. 
Where could she be? I've got it. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. I'll ask the Deeding that Ching Zhu lent me to track her. Time to come out, little Deeding. I need you to help me find Don Shu. Disciples. I guess that tells me all I need to know. Master, stand back. Let me handle this. Stand down. She's a friend. Many of our brethren have fallen by her hands. Yes, I am aware. But... I said she's my friend. Believe us. Yes, Master. I didn't expect you to come looking for me. So they do did you ingest the Broomdew Concentrate pellet I gave you? That which the elixir seekers that arrive on the Sienjo dream of. The formula to immortality. To take it is to initiate the transformation from a short life species into a Sienjo person or an abomination. Depending on your perception. Please believe me when I say that never once have I thought about harming you. I merely wanted to offer you the chance to obtain immortality and freedom. Friend, please. I urge you to leave the Lafu. Abandon this struggle. The truth isn't what it appears to be. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? That the Rainbow Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is chasing the heathen plague's author across the stars? While the disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy? Do you really think that is the case? You don't understand merciful Medicus. Nor the devilish archer author, but you understand me. Do you see me as such? A heretic? I do not ask for you to pick a side. I just wish for you to leave the Lafu. To leave this all behind. This isn't your fight, and I do not wish to make an enemy of you. Most unfortunate. Had you known me first, perhaps we could have been good friends. Master, we should leave now. I sincerely wish that this will be our last meeting. Farewell, Nameless. Don't mess with this! Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past.
disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I'd better report my findings to Ching Zhu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. Let's take it in turns. You rest. I'll stand guard. How did it go? Did you manage to locate Don Shu? So you weren't able to apprehend her. I see. These people have been in hiding for so long. They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. Jing Yuan tells me you'll be joining the forces led by the Alchemy Commission and Master Diviner. I won't take up any more of your time. Please, take good care of yourself. If you run into Don Shu again, contact the nearest Cloud Knights. Take this as a token of my appreciation. You deserve it. <laughs> 